Hello everyone, today I am excited because I've got something new for you guys and something free, right? I'm gonna start this off with a little pitch, but I promise this is not an advertisement, <laughs> okay? So, you all remember back in the day, you see the old school ads there on the television or on billboards and it's about a cold drink, a bottle of coke, whatever it is, orange juice, it is... There is something about it, something that makes you thirsty. What is it? Well, it is the condensation, the moist, the water droplets. They make you thirsty. They remind you of liquid, of cold, and it makes you want one of those. Right, so what we made is Mr. Moist. <laughs> it basically adds condensation, water droplets, moist on your objects with a drag. And it has a lot of customization options as well. I'm going to show you it with this nice mug of orange juice. So we may even moisturize these oranges a little bit as well. Right, so let me show you how that works. I can just drag and drop this onto the glass and it will add the water droplets. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Right, I can do the same thing for the glass on the left. It's very cold now. All of a sudden, one drag and drop. It's a cold glass of orange juice, guys. And it just, well, makes your uh, things pop a little bit more. Makes the people thirsty who see it, right? So what we can do is tweak those settings. Of course, we tweak settings because, well, what will be a German Torino setup without tweakable settings, right? So we've got the resolution of the water droplets. I'm going to walk through these in a speedy manner. And we can, of course, decrease the skill. If you think the skill doesn't match with the glass, we can just, um, well, drop that a little bit. For example, the big droplet skill um, is there at the bottom. We can set that to like 0.025. That'll basically make those big droplets a little bit smaller. The small droplets have a separate um, skill, so you can set them both. We have two levels, one for the big droplets and one for the small ones. So we have two levels of details. We've got a general resolution, right? We can set that to about four as well. Um, and that's basically going to make them disappear because there is some kind of merging going on. So we need at least like eight, I guess, a resolution of eight. And the higher you crank this up, the more detail you will have in your droplets. So you can also use that for like close-up scenes. If we set this to 20, for example, we're going to add more resolution. Um, and uh, well, of course, it is also going to make Blender a little bit uh, slower. Okay, so by general, I set this to like 12 and it works nicely. Then we've got the noise skill, of course. There is some kind of noise going on because water droplets cannot be on every single spot of the glass. So the noise skill will just take care of that. Noise seed as well will just, well, change the, the settings, the noise um, settings there a little bit. Same for uh, the droplet density. We can add a lot more if we set this to a thousand, for example. And we can then just set the, the distance between droplets a little bit lower as well. Because there is a minimum distance, so they don't overlap as much. So we can set it to 0.02. And you'll be able to see that we add a lot of new particles there. Alright? A lot of new water droplets. Okay. So I'm going to set that back. And so then we also have the small droplet density. Going to do the same, but for the small droplets. So tweak that how you like it. And then we have the droplet noise strength. It basically displaces your spheres of droplets a little bit. So it isn't all perfectly round. Alright? Beautiful. Then we've got the thickness, which is basically the bulge of the water droplets, right? So we can make them thicker. If I set this to two, they're going to be a lot thicker. We can even set that to five and make almost kind of icicles or stuff like that. So that's all up to you, how you want to use that. You can tweak the material and turn this into ice, for example. Sure, why not? I'm going to set this back to 0.6. And then we've got the scale, of course, so we can crank that up by a lot. For example, if we want very large droplets, I can set that to 0.1, which is basically going to add a lot of these droplets. And you can see they even merge a little bit, right? There's water tension, water droplets that come close, they will merge a little bit. And I'm going to set that back. We can also change the small droplet scale, of course. And now comes the fun part. I got something fun for you guys. And I'm going to show you this with um, a different object. I'm going to hide this. And I'm going to, let's hide all the entire collection. And I'm going to bring back my droplets object, with, which is Suzanne, right? It's just going to work a little bit faster because, of course, a glass, um, it's a transparent material. On that transparent material, it's going to render a little bit slower. So I'm going to test this out on Suzanne, just for the ease of speed. All right, so there is an option that is called single drops or connected drops. Hmm. Basically, what that means is right now we have separated drops, but we can also 
check this little box and check it out. Cool. All right, now we don't have a lot of particles. What I'm going to do is set the resolution to 12 and decrease the distance a little bit. Let's do that. Here we go. And also let's increase the density by a little bit to 500. All right, so then you will really be able to see what happens, right? So the water is going to pretty much come together at places, all right? So that is quite beautiful, if you ask me. So that's basically the water droplets connecting together a bit more. So there's more surface tension. They don't look like actual drops that much. And that's basically what's going to happen. So we also have a connection threshold. If we set this lower, you will be able to see that there's basically going to be um, bigger puddles, pretty much. They're going to collect uh, uh, bigger puddles, for, for example, right? So if I set this to, let's say, 0 0.1, let's just see what happens for, for fun, okay? For fun. All right, so they're just basically going to be bigger patches. And if I'm going to set this to, like, 2, they may disappear altogether or there may be small spots there, right? So you can see that <laughs> they're very small spots. So just play around with that, um, how you see fit, pretty much. All right. So I think the basic resolution was like nine or something. Beautiful, like that. Beautiful, right? And then there's one more option. If you want even larger puddles, if you want, for example, an object covered in water, something that has just been splashed is completely wet, right? So we can just connect them to puddles. Let's see what that does. Wow, that's basically going to make them into puddles, right? So now our object is covered I've just thrown water on that. It is now completely wet. All right, so that's basically what you can change. And you can even crank up the puddle size to 200, for example, which is going to... Well, that's not big enough of a change. Let's see 500 then. Um, it's basically going to decrease the scale of those puddles. And if I set this to lower, it may be a little bit weird. If you make it higher, the size is going down. But it's basically the resolution, I guess. So if you set this to low lower, your puddle size will actually go up. <laughs> and, well, vice versa. All right, so have a play around with that. But you can see that you can actually add some very nice puddles. And if I set the resolution to 20, that's going to change how this looks a little bit as well, of course. All right, so you may get better results there. And we can change the seat and stuff like that. And it will change anything here as well. Because it's all based on that initial noise seat. Okay, so that is basically it. If I now turn this off back to normal drops, it's going to look different again. Mm -hmm, there we go. Single drops. Now, this all depends on those initial drops, right? On the skill, on the, um, the density, stuff like that. It's all going to affect those connections as well. Okay, so just try that out to see how it works the best, All right. So the small droplet density, for example, way lower. This back to 260. And let's set the, the scale of this big droplet back to like 0.03, something like that. And now, well, we can just connect them back up and it will look a little bit different once again, All right? So if we set this back to like 0.3, the threshold, we're going to have a little bit more. Set this back up. It's going to change it again. All right. So now we only have a few splashes of water. So it's all pretty much dependent on those initial settings. So just have a play around with that. All right. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to turn this all off here. Here we go. And I'll just show a few fun examples. Right. I can just delete this object. Look for another drink. Let's go for something nice. Um, This is a beer. I'm not a big fan of Heineken. Um, the brand, um, I usually drink something else in the Netherlands. Grolsch, Grolsch is my, um, my preferred bear kind, right? So we can now just drag the droplets on that bear. Wait, let's just first apply the skill. Here we go. And then drop that in there. We instantly get droplets on this Heineken. Now, you're not going to tell me you're not interested in a bear, right? Right, that's the power of this add-on. It will make you thirsty. So if you're working on product renders of like drinks or something that you want chilled or you want to make someone thirsty for fun and just use this, right? And I can I can just turn this on and the puddles back on again if you want to add more water on there, right? Why not? This has just been splashed. Easy as that. Right, so have a look at this add-on. Very, very easy. Now... There is one little catch, guys. What well, just one. And it is that it is going to be free, but it's going to be included in the baked universe asset library, right? And that basically means that it is going to be even more beneficial for you guys, right? It is going to be free, 
This will be included in the free version, uh, which means you can download uh, the Big Universe Asset Library and you can just install that as an add-on, right? Edit Preferences add-on install. That is it. And then you will have a Big Universe Asset Library that will include the, the, not only the geometry nodes, but also some default materials. Um, some objects, uh, for example, uh, let's see, the demon mask is in there. We've got Mossify as part of this as well. I can drag in a little spider there, a low detail spider. Isn't that nice? We can even moisturize, <laughs> moisturize that spider if we want. Let's add some moist there. Beautiful, a nice big drop of water on our spider. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I don't know why. Right, and there's gonna be more, like a huge ass clock tower is going to be part of this. I can just drag and drop that in. I don't know why I just dragged a huge ass building in there, but you see, it works quite well, right? It's a nice object, you can use that for your scenes. Easy as that. Right, then we've got some more. Let me just take you, walk you through this a little bit. Uh, we've got, for example, a toilet paper roll. You may wanna use that at some point, right? Remember to refill your toilet paper, guys. Um, We've got, uh, let's see. We've got some plates, beautiful plates, but we're going to be filling this up with a lot more models. I've got a lot more to add to this, more geometry node setup as well. Um, we've got other people from the big universe coming in with objects that we can add with uh, geometry nodes as well. We've got materials there. Let's see, we've got a huge a spaceship in here even, right? Feel free to use it. It is going to be nice. So it's all textured, um, modeled, it is completely, final you can use this in your scenes have a nice little spaceship same for well let's see i'm gonna delete that same for satellites why not you may want to add that in your space scene just a satellite even if it's floating in the distance just throw it in there drag and drop like an asset library does very easy right floating around now beautiful okay <laughs> i will not get caught up in this too much i will make a separate tutorial on how to install this how to use it and so what, well, what we at the big universe stand for and what we wanna do, right? All you need to know is that this geometry nodes, or sorry, this asset library will be the place to get Mr. Moist, so the free add-on will be included in that free add-on. <laughs> it's going to be free and free and free. Um, and then at some point we may add a premium section where we will add more premium geometry node setups like Fungify is going to be part of that or the gift wrapper that I made that's going to be part of the um, the more premium version right but it's still not going to cost a lot so that is going to be related to the big universe right and that is going to be something I will make a video about so go to that video to know how to install this big universe as a library add-on how to try it out and how to get access to Mossify, Mr. Moist, Snowify, all of the objects I showed you, the materials. Um, we've got the, the shader ball to test out different materials and stuff like that. It's going to be very, very, very beneficial to help you add materials, tweak materials, settings like that. Um, I will make a different tutorial for that. All right. Thank you for watching. If you like it, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe. Any one of those will make me incredibly happy. And I will see you in the next one.